the first, facing Huck Fleener. Terry Steinbach hits what appears to be a homer. Now, let's remember this if they miss the Yankees' season homer record by one homer this year. Looks like a homer, and it was hooked around the pole. However, they call it foul. Top of the fourth, no score, no matter. Mark McGuire gets him back, hits every inch, and since in Canada, every centimeter of the ball. Fifth deck, a moment of silence, please. The A's lead 1-0, 37, number home run, number 37 for McGuire. Bottom of the ninth, Art Howe signaling for help for good reason. Joe Carter with a man on, down one run, hits a game-winning two-run homer off of Jay Wittesick, not Mitch Williams, to win the game. Your final is 4-3 on Carter's 24th homer of the year. Five Mariners down 3-2. Ken Griffey Jr. takes care of that off Felipe Lira, 29th homer of the year. This game tied at 3. Same inning, two outs, nobody on. Dan Wilson at the plate. Got it. Wilson rips it down. His 14th of the season. Out in a hurry. Seattle takes a 4-3 lead into the top of the ninth, where Mark Lewis also got it. drives it deep off of Norm Charlton. To send this game into extra innings. We're going to go to the top of the tenth, where the Tigers load the bases in two outs against Bobby Ayala and Brad Ausmus. Rips one into the left center field gap. That clears the bases. And Detroit wins seven to four. So does Barty with ease. And how do wins are so rare Brad for the Tigers this year, but you don't know how rare this one was. The Tigers have taken well, I'll tell you. In that seven to four final, Detroit wins one game in the bottom of the fifth, and Ozzie Guillen walks for only the eighth time in 332 at bats. Next batter, Tony Phillips. Can you put this on the board? Yeah. Indeed, you can, Wimpy. Homer number nine for Phillips, 3 1 sacks. Luis Andahar just called up from AAA looking sharp. Mac, Mark McLemore looking. Andahar struck out six. However, Matt Carter had less success against Juan Gonzalez. A two run shot in the eighth. Number 29 for Gonzalez. This game tied at three in the top of the 12th. One out. Warren Newsom on third. Brian Kaiser of Chico, California pitching. Gives up the sack fly to center. Off of Daryl Hamilton. And here comes Newsom with the and game the winner. Now have... Take Rangers win it four to three in 12 innings. The White Sox have lost four straight. Top on a course, and there is Steve. Bottom three, five, four Cubbies against Vinny Castilla. Second homer of the night, number 24 of the season. Rockies take a 6 5 lead, and Traxel wouldn't make it out of the fourth inning. Top five Cubs now trailing 8 6. Got service on second. Leo Gomez off Lance Painter, number 15, that ties the score at eight. And yes, once again at Coors Field, we look at the scoreboard and we say, where are the zeros? No zeros to be found. Top seven, Gomez at the plate, two men aboard. Rips a single to center, Luis Gonzalez gonna come around third, gonna try to score. Quentin McCracken comes up firing out. Score tied at eight. Bottom eight, two out, bases loaded for Dante. Drops the bat, that means it's gone, doesn't it? Sammy Sosa says, I think not. Top nine with Mark Grace at third. Bruce Ruffin against Scott Service. Strikes him out, but the ball gets away. So here comes Grace with the lead run. The Cubs would add another one and hold on to win yet another wild one at Coors. 10-8 the final. Coming in. The Marlins, top one, two on for Eric Karros. Still having a decent year. That'll be good enough for a three-run job off Chris Hammond, number 22 for Karros. Dodgers up 3-0. And Mike Piazza had the night off in the sixth. His replacement, Tom Prince, runners on the corners. And you didn't have to squeeze it, but you did, but you did, but you did. And I thank you. Mike Bush comes in to score. L.A. up 5 nothing. Bottom six, Pedro Astacio against Kilvio Veras. Now, that's a great catch, but check out what happens. A screamer. Oh, man, is that smart. Right off the meat part of the arm. And you can dance if you want to, Pedro. You deserve it making that catch. Dodgers go on to win it 6-3 of his catches. Barry Bonds with a man on in the top of the first. Pretty decent right there. He's 26th of the year. Seventh career homer against Greg Maddox. 3 0 Giants. Top of the third, Rafael Belliard at the plate. Rips one to short. Shawan Dunstan. Great grab. He would leave the game with a sprained right wrist, though. X rays negative. Alan Watson pitched fantastic. Top of the fourth, Fred McGriff. Look, he had seven strikeouts, did Ali Watton in the ninth inning with two men aboard. Dusty Baker goes to the mound and elects to keep Watson in the game. Rogue Chipper Jones takes him deep and out. A three run shot is 21st of the year. The Braves cut it to four to three now. Two outs now. Rod Beck pitching. Jermaine Dye popped him up. Down the right field line. Coming in the right fielder. Beck's 19th save official. Watson. Now 6-1 lifetime against the Braves. Giants win.
fifth is June fifteenth. His counterpart, Rocky Coppinger, hangs a slider to Albert Bell, and that is never a good idea. Career home number two twenty-seven for Albert. Tribe up three nothing in the first. Bottom of the first, same score. Number man on, Nagy. In this story of a man named Brady who was busy hitting homers of his own. Anderson, number 32, it's a two-run shot. Orioles down 3-2. Top three, Tribe up 3-2. Albert Bell, number 34, a solo shot, and the Tribe's up 4-2. Time of the fifth now for three, Cleveland. Lofton's on third, Vizquel's on second, and that looks a lot like Jim Tomey on first. Guess who? Albert, ringing another one into the corner, an 0-2 pitch. Lofton scores. Vizquel comes in. Bell three for four, five RBIs. He's got 96 on the season. So next time, oops, Garrett Stevenson tags Bell on the shoulder with the first pitch. So Albert drops to first. Dan Morrison makes sure nobody has issues. Next batter, Manny Ramirez. Grounder to third. Look out at second. Here comes Albert. Look out, Robbie Alomar. Oh, we're going to reach out a little bit for him. Makes the throw. Get away. Alomar argues line. that Bell is out of the base path to no avail. Indians led at 8-5. They would go on to win at 10-7. Bell of the night. Brew crew up 4-1. JT Snow. That's right on out of here. His 12th. California down 4-2. Angels get runners to first and second with one out. Randy Velarde pinch hitting against Graham Lloyd. Well, chopper to second, Fernando Vina. Glove hand, flip to the bare hand of Lloyd. Terrific play. Check it out one more time. I thought you threw with the bare hand and caught with a glove, but the Brewers, hey, they're versatile. Angels down to their last out. There are two on for Gary DeSarcina, master of his domain. Ball game, a three-run job, and the Angels win it by a count of five to four. And Milwaukee blows a three-run lead in the ninth for the second. Fourth major league start for Kansas City. Bottom of the second, Tino Martinez at third. Does not come home on Mariano Duncan's ground at a first. Bad fundamentals. Fundamentals would even get worse for Tino. Next batter, Gerald Williams, grounds it to third. Now Tino decides to come home and silly rabbit. Bottom of the fifth, still one up for the Royals. Joe Girardi at the plate. Rosado pops him up. And then nobody the takes charge. Look out. That's a fair ball. Girardi gets the first but didn't score. Top of the eight, four nothing Royals. Runner at third. David Howard protects himself on the suicide squeeze. In the world did he pull that? Gets some wood on it. Good job. Mike Sweeney scores five nothing Royals. Paul O'Neill swinging. Jose Rosado struck him out and then had to leave the game with hand cramps. In the bottom of the eighth, and the Royals win it by the final of seven to nothing. A big night for Rosado, born a couple of rivers away in nearby New Jersey City. He allowed just six hits in CX eighth, four three Red Sox. Two batters later, Roberto Kelly busts out the whooping stick with Dave Hollins on second, his second of the season for Kelly. Twins lead five four. Tim Wakefield comes out. Vaughn Eshelman in, in relief for Boston offers none. Matt Wall back homers down the third base line in the bottom of the fifth, his first of the year. The Twins lead now ten to four. It's 11 of four in the fifth. Rich Becker on, Paul Molitor puts one up the middle to make it 12-4 twins. Twins bat around in the fourth and the fifth. And you see, I've got Molitor in my league, and you've got, oh, you've got Eshelman. Twins win at 16 to six in the twins. Ray Langford stepping in against Uget Urbina. Langford, Rondell White, you might as well face it. He's addicted to glove. Top five, cards up 2-1. Moises Alou back for the Expos. Smacks one right back up the middle. Urbina on base. He'll motor around the score. RBI number 58 for Alou. Tied at two. Bottom seven still 2-2. Mark Grezelanik just robs Willie McGee. And then watch how heads up Grezelanik is. Brian Jordan, smoke meat. That's getting it done. Out at the plate. Top of the eighth. How many times have you seen Grezelanik make a play? And then the next highlight, we show you getting a hit. Okay. Well, right here, we see it that time. Off Mark Pekajic, F.P. Santangelo scores. Expos would go on to win it 4 2. The Cardinals have Ando Merced facing Russ Springer in the third, and Russ throws it up there a little more like Jerry Springer. Merced takes it into the luxury box as a two run shot, his 14th. He was 3 of 5 on the night, tied up at 2. Greg Jeffries in the sixth against Dan Maselli. Gets every bit of it, his third of the year, solo shot. Phillies come within one. The score is then 5 4 Pirates. But in the bottom of the six, Toby Borland won out, Walt Nelson Lariano, and then Jermaine Allensworth did likewise. So Steve Fry comes in, tries to get out of a bases loaded jam, and he can't throw a strike either. Walks out Martin. Jason Kendall leisurely stroll home with an insurance run. Pirates would win at 6 4. Jim.
walking Barry Bonds. Sack fly, 1-1 one, one game right there. And Steve Scarsoni goes down to Glavin. And then Tommy doing it himself with a little defense and uh, getting out of a jam there. Top three now, Chipper Jones with a runner on third. Gets into a pitch from Mark Leiter, and then Bonds there to rob him of a home run. That's worth another look. Barry measuring and doing it beautifully to take a home run away from Chipper Jones. He's sitting 288. And Marquise Grissom coming up top of the fifth with two outs. Leiter challenged him, and Leiter would lose. Grissom takes it out of the yard, number 17 for him. Made it 2-1 Braves. Top eight with a runner on Glavin. Able to get Bonds again. And here comes Fred McGriff. Ripping one to left. And there's Barry showing off the glove work one more time. Mark Wohler's coming on in the ninth. It's 2-1 and Wohler's blows away. Rich Aurelia is 24th save for Mr. Wohler's. The Braves win it 2-1. Barry Bonds feeling the loss in that one. Leiter gave up just two runs in six innings. Tight pennant race. Pick it up, bottom five, Ramon Martinez to John Cangelosi. Cangelosi loops a single to right. Rick Wilkins is going to challenge Raul Mondesi's arm, and it'll be the last mistake Wilkins will make as an Astro. More on that shortly. It's 2-1 Houston. Then in the top of the seventh, the Dodgers grabbed a 3-2 lead. When Wayne Kirby singled to left, Derek May comes up throwing, and Chad Fonville has some speed, but he is out. Astros still down by one. Bottom eight, Jeff Bagwell on first, working a little hit and run with Derek Bell, and it works to perfection. Bagwell scores to tie the game at three. Bell would later score on a sack fly to put the Strohs up 4-3, and then Billy Wagner, the kid. You know, I believe Terry Collins might have found himself a closer. Blows away Mike Bush, and then Greg Gagne, the sixth save for Wagner. The Astros would come back to win it by a count of 4-3. to three. Danny Darwin. One on down. one out, Jim Tomei rocks field. one to right. One hops the wa warehouse, two-run homer, Tomei's 20th of the year. Brian Giles added a two-runner in the same inning, four-zip drive after a half inning. Orioles answer back. Cal Ripken in the first. Pace, his 19th. Brady Anderson yokes his 33rd homer in the third, and Rafael Palmero, also in the third, his 26th homer. Greg Swindell suffered all those homers, were tied at four after three. But in the fourth, break him off something proper. Albert Bell blasts one to left off Jimmy Haynes. Three-run homer caps a six-run inning for Cleveland. Albert, seven hits, three homers in his last two games, 10-4 Indians. O's cut it to 12-9. But top nine, two on two outs. Sandy Alomar with his third hit of the game. A single up the middle, plates Bell and Manny Ramirez. Indians go back up by five. They go on to win it by a score against the Mariners. Scoreless in the first, Jay Buhner at the plate with two on. Jay doubles off A.J. Sager to the right center field wall. Joey Cora and Alex Rodriguez, who turns 21 years old on Saturday, scores two zip Mariners. Top second, still two love. Tony Clark strikes out swinging. Look out. Loses his bat into the camera box. Top six, 5-1 M's. Big Cecil Fielder at the bat. Sterling Hitchcock with the wild pitch. Chad Curtis comes in from third, 5-2 M's. Top seven, 5-3 Mariners. Rafael Carmona on in relief. Brad Osmus, blooper to left. Scores Allen Trammell, 5-4 Tigers within one. Bottom seven, same score, Jay Buhner. Yep, 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 yep. First baseline, but Buhner tagged out, but Alex Rodriguez scores the insurance run. 6-4 Mariners, Buhner's third RBI. Top eight, Tony Clark leadoff batter, lines a pitch into the gap, but Darren Bragg makes a great grab. Seattle hangs on to win. Nine, Wilson Alvarez hoping the so helping the Sox end a four-game losing skid. Gets Juan looking at heat down the middle of the plate. Juan 0 for 4. Top third, men on second and third. This time, he got Gonzalez swinging. Score remains the same. In the fourth, Alvarez gets Damon Buford looking at a breaking ball. Wilson at 11 Ks in eight innings. Bottom five, bases loaded, no outs for Norberto Martin, the grounder. Mark McLemore holds Tony Phillips and then gets the force out. Phillips gets caught up in a rundown just long enough. Hey, guys for two runs to score. That made it 3-1 White Sox. They'd go on to win it 6-2. Wilson Alvarez allowed only four hits over eight innings. Baroa drives one deep to center. Otis Nixon getting on his giddy up, gives up the chase. Watch him getting some ups at the wall. He bobbles it, but brings it in. Baroa would have been four for four had that been a hit. Bottom four, Ed Sprague against Willie Adams. Willie, you lose. Sprague smashes one deep to left. His 27th of the year. Jay's up 3-2. Top seven, same score. Ernie Young hits a grounder, but Alex Gonzalez goes deep into the hole. Unbelievable off-balance throw to gun him out. 
Top eight still 3-2-1. Guzman pulled after seven strong innings. Mark McGuire pinch hitting. Mark crushes another one. That's like his 846th home run this year. Actually, it's just his 38th, but four games in a row he's homered. Top eight, 3-3. That pitch looked pretty good, but it's called ball three. Tony Castillo can't believe it. The very next pitch, Ernie Young goes ballistic. Opposite way, it's gone. A two-run shot. His 14th homer of the year gives the A's a 5-3 lead. That would be the final score. So as I said, McGuire.